Hello and welcome back to TTG Plays Pokemon Fire Red, the Nuzlocke Challenge. Uh, when we you last saw me, I uh, had just done Cinnabar Island and stuff. I went and trained my Pokemon a little bit, so now in my team we've got a Jackie level 46, Cartman 46, Asparagus 46, Cody 2 is 46, Mike is 46, and Chester of course has evolved into an Arcanine. And uh, yeah, so that's that's good, that's cool. So today, today's plan is defeat Giovanni... And then, I guess we'll also uh, fight our rival, and that'll be it. Then next episode, we'll be doing the Victory Road. And then, we'll have ourselves the uh, Elite Four, and we'll see if we survive or not. Now, this is a great place to get XP as well. This guy's using mainly ground type from memory. That's what that guy just said, so let's get ourselves some XP first before we get up to Giovanni himself. And we'll see if 46 is a high enough level for this gym, because I don't really know. It's been a long time since I've uh, <laughs> been here, obviously. Alright, so... If all the trainers around here are using level 40, then yeah, I imagine I'm around comparable level, if not a little... A little lower. I don't recall ever really having trouble with this gym in the past, but... Also, usually I have... I'm not playing Nuzlocke, so I actually have a party that is good. <laughs> so we'll see what happens. Uh, okay, what's this one got? A whole bunch. Yeah, I get the feeling like this gym will be a good place for XP. Just if they, you know, ground types, while well, they have their uh, strengths, they're certainly uh, not the most powerful things ever. But the XP they hand out's not not too bad. It's the last of these guys. Oh, let me fight that guy up there. I'm definitely going to fight every trainer in here. I'm not going to show you me fighting every trainer in here, because then this episode would probably be quite long, but uh, there's too much good experience points in here for me to uh, to avoid or to miss. So we should be able to get everyone up to around level 47, I imagine. For the most part, I'm sure characters like Cody too don't have any uh, skills which are actually any good against these Pokemon. Probably won't, but uh, I imagine the rest of the team should be able to... You should be able to get up there. Good one, Jackie. It's funny how Carmen's ended up being like one of my most powerful Pokemon. Which I'm totally okay with. He's totally OP and his health is ridiculous. And uh, I really love him now. He's really come into a whole league of his own. Just your chance to level up a little bit, Cody too. Knit Arena, Poison type. No real... Not effectiveness against you. Get that XP. You're gonna need it. I definitely feel like... Oh, I wasn't expecting that. Not that much damage. I really wasn't expecting uh, Cody 2 to be in my party as long as it has been. It's certainly not a great Pokemon by any stretch of the imagination. I probably could should have swapped it out with something else, but... Uh, I just didn't want to take the time to train something to replace it, you know? Well, I got some XP, I guess. Nido Queen, you don't want to fight that. Let's send back out... Cartman. Yeah, it feels, feels kind of good being this close to the end. Like, I, there were a few moments throughout this playthrough where I didn't know that I'd get this far. I honestly didn't feel like I'd make it as far as I have. So it feels good to be here fighting this gym leader. Especially considering that we lost most of our good Pokemon. <laughs> we've definitely we've all we've definitely all been through a lot together. That's that's for certain. Another one. Karate King. It's funny how like it's a ground gym, but there's tons of fighting Pokemon in here, and I, even as a kid that always kind of Yeah, I wouldn't say confused me, but it fascinated me that, that was the way this gym was set up. I think it's a ground gym, full of not ground Pokemon. There's more fighting Pokemon in here than there is ground Pokemon. Oh, jeez. That was a close one. Holy crap, that was close. Alright, well after this battle, we're definitely uh, going back to the Pokemon Center. <laughs> yeah, that's the shit. So, Chester's turned out to be a... Uh, even though I really wanted a muck from from the mansion, I can't complain about having Chester because he's kind of he's kind of he's kind of awesome. 
And I'm surprised that he doesn't, uh, he's level, he levels up relatively quickly as well. He doesn't take a long time to, to gain XP, which is awesome. I had a feeling that once he evolved into Arcanine, he would, uh, take a while to do anything, but that's not the case, which is cool. All right, so we've beaten all these guys. Let's go heal up and then we'll go take the next path. Come on, man. Oh, Arbok? What? It's even further away from being a ground type than the other guys. What is with this gym? Oh, sneaky snack. I miss you. I'll probably end up getting another another one when I do my Pokemon Silver playthrough, knowing my luck. Does that say Taurus? I think it did. Taurus is one of my favorite Pokemon. Look at that guy. He's just fucking badass. Bad ass. Come on, man. Is that a level up? Oh, it's so close. Nido King, you're not fighting that guy. All right, we've got this. This gym in the bed, in the. In this battle in the in the bag, at least. We got one trainer left. I should be able to make pretty short work of that guy. Yeah, easy peasy. That was good healthy XP. Well, we ought to get most of the characters up to 47. I only need one more battle for Chester to go up and, uh... Where are my full heals? Oops. I think I've only got one more trainer and then I can go heal one last time and... And take on Giovanni. Hype is real! Oh, I might have to come through there. Ugh. Forgot about that. It's like the gym ex game expects you to... Oh, I guess if you pulled him down, then you could walk through there. Oh, wait, no, that is all of them. Alright. This is it. This is the gym leader. Well, let's put... Mike out in front. And let's do this. This time, Giovanni, you're going down. Taking care of business. One down, four to go. Doug Trio, uh, actually, no, I will keep Mike out. I just I was thinking I could get a uh, asparagus some XP, but I don't want him to get hit with dig because that would probably hurt him quite a bit. Uh, another one down. This is actually being way easier than I was expecting. <laughs> but as usual, it's not until they really bring out their final Pokemon that thing shit gets real, which. I think it's a Rhydon, actually, is his final Pokemon. A very high level Rhydon. Oh, it is Rhyhorn. Alright, well, let's send out Asparagus again. Since he's about to go up a level as well. Level 50, yeah, I knew it was something like that. Well, we did it. That badge was the easiest one to get in the whole game. God bless. <laughs> Thank you for the Earth Badge. We have all eight badges, people. We are ready. We are ready for the Elite Four. Thanks for the 5,000 pounds, man. Team is this now? It used to be Horn Drill. Earthquake! Oh, yeah! Oh, Earthquake's a great move. I was looking for that. You used to get that TM somewhere else, because I used to always give it to my uh, Nido King back in the day. Or maybe I'm thinking of like Gen 2, and you could get it. Alright, let's heal up, and then it's off to fight uh, our old rival Gary. And, that'll, and we'll get to that next Pokemon Center, which is on before Victory Road, and we'll call that an episode. And 
Whew, man, that was actually really easy. <laughs> but I'm sure Gary will be anything but. Or Stink. I think I called him Stink. It's been a while. Last time we fought him, he almost kicked our ass, so... Let's see how we go this time. Oops, didn't want to come down here. Where are you? Here he is. Alright, this is it. This is the big moment I was actually worried about. We collected all the badges. Let's go. Whew, legit nervous. This fight, this fight is nerve-wracking. Yep, is love Pokemon a higher level than mine? I had a feeling. Alright, one down. Nothing crazy, nothing crazy. Uh, Rhyhorn, yes, I will send out asparagus for that guy. Also, even though Cody 2 is pretty useless, I just realized that there's one of the uh, Elite 4 uses ghost type Pokemon, and I think that's where Cody 2 will be most useful because it'll be immune to everything and it knows bite and faint attack, so maybe Cody 2 won't be completely useless after all. Hopefully. Alright, two down, four to go. Alakazam, this is where things get interesting. Um, hmm. I think purely because his XP is the highest. This was the one thing about this original generation was uh, Psychic was way OP. Way OP. Don't you be rising that special attack. Thankfully, his physical attack is, I mean, his physical defense is shit. How much is that going to do? Almost nothing. Thank God. You're a tank, Cartman. I love you. I love you so much. Aren't Growlithe he hasn't evolved it yet? Um, well, let's send out Cody too then. It surprises me that he hasn't evolved his... Growlithe. That is bizarre. Why would you leave it a Growlithe all this time? That seems a bit weird. Another one down. Okay, Gyarados. Now, who do I send out for that? I think, actually, my best bet will be... Jackie. Because he knows Thunder Punch. I don't know if that's true, though. Let's we'll find out. It's level 45, that's not too bad. Let's see how he goes, at least. I was not expecting to beat that thing so easily, and I'm A-OK -okay with the way it went. Yeah, Venusaur, let's send out Chester again, just for good measure. Level 53, fuck me in the ass. God, Venusaur looks hideous in this game. That did jack jack diddly. Ooh, even razor leaves hurting me. I guess that's a five level difference. Oh shit, it's so close. What? Oh, what the fuck. I can't believe he just killed my fucking RK9. You fucking mongrel. Jesus. Chester is dead, everybody. Unbelievable. I can't believe I just wasted fucking four hours leveling up that guy and just had him... Okay. Well... Go release, release Chester then. And this is why I'm not doing any more grinding. 
like I said the other episode I wasn't gonna do any more mass grindings. Like literally it took me four hours like three or four hours to get to get um Chester to a point where he could be used in the party. And now he's gone. Um So instead, we're going to have a five party, a five Pokemon party, and the XP will just get shared between those five, because I don't want to sit here another night when I could be working on stuff, um, training another Pokemon for hours to get up to a point where it may or may not be useful in the game. I cannot believe that that, that happened. A fucking critical hit. On the last attack. Ah, oh, that's miserable. Alright, let's hit this victory road and then we'll uh, call it an episode. Ah, oh, that sucks. That, like, really sucks. So much time wasted. Yep, we got the soul badge. Just let me get to victory road, man. Jeez. I don't remember this bit. Was this bit in the original game? I remember going through a bunch of gates where they checked my badges, but I don't remember all this extra shit. Oh, this is a new zone. I can catch something. No, I can't. It's a Psyduck. Never mind. We already got one. I am so mad about that. Alright. This way. Yay. I was having such a good episode, too. Alright, we are in Victory Road. So if you join me next time, we're going to make our way through here. So thank you for joining me. I hope you have a great day. And uh, I'll catch you next time. Peace out and have a good one.